Hi, I'm Matt Bennett, and we're beginning the 10-day grade experiment for June, June 1 to 10. I'm excited that you're doing this with me. A few thousand of us are doing this across the country to seek the Lord during these 10 days of pressing in with these morning and evening devotionals, repenting of our sins every day, listening to the Holy Spirit, and following up on what he says to do of representing Christ, and then our Joshua Faith Challenge. All of these are in the five commitments of what the great experiment is. Thank you so much for doing this with me and so many. I want to tell you where I am right now. I'm recording this a couple of days in advance. I'm in the Fiji Islands. I've never been here before. I actually got a shirt. Maybe you can see this right here. And we're here. I'm here with um, some friends from Christian Union because there have been revival happening here for almost 20 years. Village to village has seen extraordinary things happen. And maybe you've heard of this, but if you go on YouTube and look up Transformations video or a video called Let the Sea Resound by George Otis, it documents what's been happening in this country. And he actually is here with us and is showing us around and introducing us to the villagers. And we've been hearing some incredible testimonies of villages that were completely swamped in idolatry. Some actually had a Christian presence, but there wasn't much love of God or, or following after God in these villages. And then everything changes when they fast, pray, repent of their sins. Spirit of God comes and there's just really some astonishing miracles. And I'd heard of these uh, miracles for years, but it's amazing to come over and, and sit uh, face to face and talk to these people, hear their stories, hear about coral reefs that have come back to life as soon as they repented of their sins. One village we visited a couple of days ago, they, uh, I think before, I think they were just in their first week of returning to the Lord and coral reefs came back to life. And they say that CNN is coming to do a story on it sometime soon because so many scientists find it so remarkable. And there's other um, tales of great abundance that have come to these communities where plants grow and give a lot more produce off of them, crops and that sort of thing. And of course, reconciliation and conversions and healings and all these sorts of things. But it's all rooted in people uh, turning to the Lord. I'm gonna read a passage here about one of the churches in the book of Revelation. If you remember, there's a vision given to John on the island of Patmos of seven different churches, either seven cities in the um, in Asia Minor, uh, current um, Turkey. And this is notable because every place had its own spiritual condition. And so it says here um, in chapter three, it says, and to the angel of the church in Sardis, right? The words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of um, God. And it goes on from there. And what's notable about this is, is for each of these seven churches, there's a different problem. There's different ways in which they are commended by Jesus and different ways in which sins are called out. And this team of people here called the Healing the Land team, they go from village to village and they have four or five main sins that are pretty much characteristic of all the villages. And of course, they deal with other things as well. But these five main sins have to do with uh, sexual immorality, idolatry. They actually have little idols that some of them will worship. They have... Um, a lack of stewardship of the land, of, of really taking care of it as God's stewards. They have tithes and offerings. They focus on the people who have not been giving back to God, and that's been a problem for so many of them, and also fatherlessness. And so those issues, they really dig down deep on. They call people to repentance as a community. Lots of other different things, but that combined with extraordinary prayer and fasting, meaning praying all night together, fasting for a week at a time when the, when the Healing the Land uh, team comes through. Over the course of four weeks, these communities are, are just radically transformed. It's really stunning. If we had this sort of mindset in the United States, where we are in our communities, in our churches, life would be very, very different. And so our team together has been seeking the Lord together and asking ourselves, what are our major sins for our community, our city, our nation, that we can repent of those together? And then also 
that we can uh, repent individually as well as pray and fast and seek the Lord so that he'll pour forth his blessings on us. This is our desire. We want to see this happen. And so thank you for joining in on these 10 days of really pressing into the Lord. I pray that the Lord moves powerfully in your life, that he radically changes you, that he brings blessing to your family and community and does some wonderful things. By his grace and power, we will see communities, families, and even the nation change. Thank you.